I'll be making a different video because something in my heart said I had to share this. I did see a video that I'm going to put up here somewhere in this video that I watched. I didn't watch it all the way because it was pretty sad. But I will post a little image of it right here. And that's why I'm making this video. It says, show love to your children so the devil won't get them. Okay? Never love one more than the other. Make all your children feel the same. When you see them talking about their brothers and sisters in a bad way, always make sure to correct them and say, no, don't say that about your brother or your sister. It's not okay. You got to love and respect each other so they can always understand that. Because I, like in this video that I watched, this little girl, she was 12 years old and she hurt her brother. I don't want to say in what way, but I'm going to place the video here somewhere. And it's very sad that really, in a really, really young age, they do stuff like that. Because the devil is always lurking whispering in their ear saying oh look at how annoying he is and then I do hear a lot of children say I hate my brother I hate my sister that's why I always show your children about the Lord and Savior about how much he loves us teach your children while they are little babies okay like it says Jesus both cares for children and recognize their value as an example to disciples. Some have brought children to Jesus so that he can lay hands on them and pray for them. Jesus loves children. They're innocent little kids. That's why parents, as a parent, teach your children to respect and love each other. But first, teach them about our Lord Savior. So the devil won't get them as a young age or an older age or in a youth age. Always love your children the same way. Never say that you love one more than the other one. I know they could be difficult, but please try your best to love them. Remember, the children learn from the parents. And if you might say the dad or the mom are not here, if you're a grandma or a grandpa, teach them about our Lord's Savior. Teach them what he did for us in that cross and died for us and came back the third day so we could have everlasting life. Even the children. And if you decide to do drugs and have children or having children and being an alcoholic, or doing drugs, please. It is not worth it. Don't make your children go through hell. Long as they're alive. There's no reason to be in drugs. But you might say you don't understand my past. Forgive to be forgiven. Invite Jesus into your life. So you won't have to hit the drugs and the alcohol. Love your children and teach them. So the devil won't get them. In a young age. Have a wonderful and blessed day.